This is Sparta! Hi there folks, it's Del here from Spartan Racing again. So I just wanted to do an update on the Husqvarnveld pedals and the calibration. Um, I think I made a bit of a fundamental mistake when I was setting these up initially. I was doing some reading on the um, information about the smart control on the Husqvarnveld website. And what I was doing was setting up a curve to try to reduce any locking up I'm getting in the heavier brake zones. So I would set up this curve, um, pulling back the 100% braking to 85% and then go into iRacing and calibrate my pedals. But this isn't quite the correct way to do it. The correct way to do it is to calibrate your pedals linear and then add the curve afterwards. So what I mean by this is I'll show you is I have a, just a linear base profile here. Let's add that and save that to the pedals. And then we'll go into iRacing and go into the options and go to pedals and set up the calibration. Now, to calibrate, you press the throttle down, then let it go, then hit done. But you need to get to 4,095 uh, from zero to 4,095. So if I press down the throttle and let go, it's zero to 4095 sometimes you need to do it a couple of times because there's a little bit of an error that gets presented here let go and hit done and you'll see from the brake push down and you see it's four to four thousand and ninety five let go push down and let go zero to four thousand ninety five and i'll do the same with my clutch and hit done and done and done okay so this is the pedals calibrated, calibrated with a linear curve in there. So let's just take this out and give it a, a run down Monza and see what happens when we try and break down at about the 100 meter mark. Three hundred, two hundred, Okay, there's a fair bit of smoke. So let's jump back into the pits. Have a look at this little replay here. You'll see how much she uh, how much she locked up. So obviously that ain't good. Okay, so let's go back to the Husenfeld pedals, get my mouse to work. And now what I'm going to do, so we've calibrated the pedals with the linear base profile. Let's add my late brake profile that I created. Import that, save settings to the pedals. And now let's go back and test the car again not doing any extra just leaving the calibration from the linear calibration and let's break down at the same marker with the same about same amount of brake pressure three two one as you can see no lock up and a lot smoother. So that'll allow for late braking and a lot more control. So let's just go back to the pit, have a quick look at that replay. And you can see we braked at the same point with the same amount of pressure and it uh, was a lot more controllable. So just keep that in mind calibrate your pedals with a linear profile and then adjust your profile afterwards once you've pre-calibrated the game. Now, I haven't tested this in other sims yet, but I would say it's probably the same in Project Cars and uh, a few of the other sims as well. Um, this is just a what's working for me. It's just a, um, a starting point. 
This could be different from car to car. I found this works well for me for GTE and for the Dallara F3. Um, they're cars that don't have any ABS, so it allows me to control it a lot better. It may be different in a GT3 car with ABS, or it could be different in some other cars, but what I try to do with this channel is just give starting points for everything and then let people build on that themselves. And hopefully uh, it helps out uh, helps out a little bit. But anyway, I'd just like to say uh, thanks very much for all the great comments. I've got some great people on the channel now and um, getting some really nice support. Hit the subscribe button for me. That'll be awesome. And thank you very, very much. And I'll see you on the next video.